Good morning. Just about 6 o'clock. Look at this wintry blast slamming western New York. You're listening live to Erie County officials update us as the storm continues to barrel through western New York. We've got a number of travel advisories still in place. You see them right now on your screen. We're pushing that band from Buffalo northward where it's going to stay at least around 7 or 8 a.m. And then it's going to start to shift a little further south and really settle in over the metro area from Buffalo to Batavia. So we want to touch on Buffalo. Now we want to check in with the Department of Public Works Commissioner Steve Stepniak. As Steve mentioned, the band oh, yeah. is shifting into Buffalo. Steve and I, we were on the phone 50 times yesterday. <laughs> Polar air plunged through the city of Buffalo. And we are watching this storm from every angle for you this morning, live in our mobile weather lab with conditions that you'll find on the road. You can see the first police car kind of warning you that there's something ahead up here. And then as we approach on the second, there's going to be another police car around the curve and then this car right Right into the ditch. We are continuing our team coverage of the storms in your neighborhood. I am coming to you from North Boston. Look at the temperatures right now in the single digits. This is the warmest part of the day. These are the conditions you're seeing. Remember, if you don't have to travel, don't do it. Back now at 644 on a Wednesday morning. Weather the big story today. Erie County's top leaders just gave us an update on everything they're doing today to keep all of us safe. Sean, what do people need to know today? Yeah, some of those key points were obviously it's extremely cold. We want to see how they're making sure your families are safe. So we want to check in with the village of Kenmore now. We're live by phone with Mayor Patrick Mang. That's our biggest issue, you know, when we have cars on the street and, and we can't get down the street. But so far, this is what we have from the airports. More than 10 inches of snow. Williamsville about 8. Tonawanda about 7.5. Right now, visibility is greatly reduced here in downtown Buffalo. And on top of school closures, city and county offices are closed today. Their city hall is closed today. Niagara County offices, essential employees, and then Niagara Falls City Hall also closed. Now, most courts in Erie County also closed, namely all state county and city courts. Normally we have Good Morning America on at this hour, but we're going to continue our storm coverage with some local important information that you need to know to keep yourself safe. Yeah, we've been with you since 4.30 this morning. We've got live team coverage. Aaron, where's that Lake Effect band sitting right now? That band really between Buffalo and Niagara Falls right now. We take a look at current conditions. We are now down to four degrees. Winds out of the northwest at seven miles per hour. If you do have to go out, watch this. We're around four degrees right now. By 1 p.m., we're at zero. We've been hearing from Erie County officials that there were a number of accidents overnight on the 90, the 290, and the uh, 33. And this wintry weather is prompting crews to close the skyway. Local authorities tweeting that it was whiteout conditions and car crashes as the reason. We are going to keep driving, keep looking for any hazards out there for you. 40 snowplow vehicles are currently in and working on the streets out in Erie County, trying to keep you safe on your commute to wherever you're going. No outright travel bans, but we are following these advisories. We know the North Towns are being slammed. We want to check in with Town of Tonawanda Supervisor Joe Eminger. Joe, good morning to you. We appreciate your time this morning. A tractor-trailer ban is expected to be lifted on Thursday for the thruway. Again, travel advisories in place for all of Erie County, Lackawanna, Amherst, and Niagara County. We have seen at least three, four cars slide off the road into the snow banks, into the ditches. We've got some breaking information coming into the newsroom this morning about Governor Cuomo. He is expected to be in Buffalo, in Chictawaga, in fact, about 9.30 this morning. Take a look at this. I want to show you something that Twilon tweeted just a little while ago. You can actually see that there are many folks who are still on the road, and that's causing a lot of problems. Also, a quick note that we want to pass along to you today. Roswell Park is open today. A lot of patients, a lot of caretakers have been reaching out. It was hard to actually see him driving in front of you because his car was that covered.